Hello everyone, welcome to HealingAbusewoman.com. Today is April 30th, 2011, and today we have some great questions to answer too, so let's get started. First question is, I've noticed that you are so confident about yourself, even though you were put through abuse. How can I be that confident? Well, first of all, you have to look at life in a very positive way. You cannot go living, you know, thinking that, oh, poor you, you know, you were put through abuse. You know, every single guy that you meet now will abuse of you. No, you cannot be thinking negative. Take all that negativity out of your system. Let it go. Go to the trash. Dump it in the trash, people. Okay? Negativity in your life will never let you be confident. You know, set some goals and achieve them. And if you think it's too hard because you're having problems and you think it's too hard to be able to achieve those goals, don't give up. Keep trying and trying until you accomplish what you have set for yourself, okay? Next question is, what can I do when I feel lonely? Do you ever feel lonely? If so, what do you do to prevent from feeling lonely? I know what you mean because the first week that I was healing, I did feel very lonely. I felt like nothing could take this loneliness away, not even being with family or friends. But you know, the more you get used to hanging out with them and the more you get used to the fact that you're no longer with the person you love and you only have friends and family, that's when you start, you know, hanging out with them and you start feeling loved again. You start feeling that nice, sweet love that you used to get all the time. And you stop feeling lonely. You have to hang out with them frequently or else that, that feeling is never going to go away if you're always sitting at home all by yourself doing nothing, you know. So go out, and if they can't do, if they can't hang out, you know, because they're not always available, but if they can't hang out, go out to the park, go out for a bike ride, or maybe dance or sing. Do whatever makes you happy. Just don't sit there in loneliness, you know? Next and last question is, what made you start a blog to help abuse women? This is a very good question, because, um, what made me start a blog was that, God, I feel like, when I was going through the healing process, I felt like God was talking to me, telling me, you know, here's your chance to make this world a better place. I've always asked God for a chance, you know, to help me help people. I never knew how to help people. I never knew what to do to help people. And I think that God put me through the situation to open a lot of girls' eyes and let them look at the relationship. And if they are going through abuse, Help them get out of that abusive relationship. And for those women who have already been through abusive relationship, you know, help them heal. But yeah, that's what made me start this blog because I really feel that God gave me this chance. You know, even though it was a bad stage, you know, that he put me through. But I think it was the best opportunity for me to be able to help people is by helping women prevent abuse, helping them see the signs of an abusive relationship so they can prevent it at a at a very good time instead of having to let them go through that abusive life that I went through, you know? Help them prevent that and help them heal from all the bad stuff that they were put through, just like I was able to heal. So I hope you liked today's questions and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.